Colourful Foundry is an independent type foundry that specialises in designing typefaces for individual brands and agencies across the world. Typeface is a collection of forms that make up an alphabet and they have a certain voice and character within them that sometimes it can be quite happy, other times quite closed and dark and almost gothic. Like any piece of design, it's almost invisible if it's done really, really well. London has had a sizeable influence on typography, so we wanted to dig a little deeper to understand the impact it's having in the UK and in America. So we're off to see Paul the calligrapher. Calligraphy is kind of like the birthplace of fonts. Understanding how scribes drew these characters before type became automated can influence how we develop fonts today. How are you? Hello. Hey, hey. There's been such a resurgence in people looking at calligraphy, especially on social media. What do you think draws people to this like kind of ancient art? Different scripts generate different emotional responses. By watching the script created, you have an even deeper connection with the emotional response. People are attracted to it. One of the stories about the script used for the Declaration of Independence was that they wanted something that was British-ish. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't want something that was truly British, but they wanted something that reflected this Britishness. And so the Declaration of Independence is based on this English round hand script. You can see its heritage. American typography has its roots in the UK, and American designers are drawing upon that influence while developing their own unique voice. Designers from the UK came to shift the way that typography developed in the United States. Suddenly the designer wasn't just designing with typography, the designer was designing the typography. A single letter can convey any emotion you want it to based on the way you draw it. Technology has forever altered the way we see, use, manufacture, design, and communicate with type. Technology has made it really easy to make typefaces now. So there are hundreds of thousands of them, but there's just as many bad ones as there are good ones. Yeah, and I guess that's what makes it really difficult to actually choose typefaces. With so much choice, it's an impossible task. And that's why we're going to go and see Morag, who's an artist who works primarily with typefaces. She's a master at choosing the right typeface for her work. Hey, Morag. Hi. Good to see you. Historically, you know, you use kind of more simpler typefaces are your preference. Can you tell me about that a bit more? The choice of font is absolutely key. The simpler, the stronger font works best with my pieces of work. So if you're going to put a word across, if you do it in a simple, strong font, it's going to really make an impact on people. The words become real with the fonts I use. Morag's art is truly unique, and it's a great example of how the right typeface can make all the difference. We've barely scratched the surface today, but it's inspiring to see that type design in London is alive and well.